I'm here with Dr. Romano to do graphs of linear equations. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products and the author of the Death Destroyer book. We're here today with Professor Blois and we're going to do a solid type of question that you're going to see on the DAT exam. All right, Professor, if you can show us some good work on this type of graph. Okay, here we are. Professor Blois here looking at graphs of linear equations. And here is a question that comes up uh, pretty often on the DAT. Which system of equations describes the shaded area above? Well, let's look at the graph. What do we have? The graph of two straight lines and the shaded area between them. All right, and we have a ch choice of possible answers, A, B, C, and D. Notice that the graphs of the, notice that the two equations involved are always the same. What's different is the direction of the inequalities on each one of them. Okay, first thing we want to do is identify which line is which. Which line is y equals negative 2x plus 8? Which line is y equals x plus 3? Well, the red line is a line of positive slope. So, here is the line of positive slope, y equals x plus 3. So, I know that that is the equation for the uh, positive, the line of positive slope ascending. And therefore, the line with a negative slope, negative 2x plus 8, is the equation for the uh, blue line that's sloping down, negative 2x plus 8. And we can see that the y-intercepts of each of these are consistent with what's depicted on the graph. The y-intercept here is plus 3, the y-intercept here is plus 8. So we've got the, the line successfully labeled. Now, which one of these choices is going to adequately describe, is, is going to precisely describe the shaded area? Well, look what's happening in the shaded area. This, and this question can be answered purely in visual terms. What's, the shaded area falls below the line x plus 3 and above the line negative 2x plus 8. So that means we want a system of equations where we have y is less than x plus 3, that is the area below x plus 3, like this, and the here and here, but above the line of negative 2x plus 8. So we want a choice where we're lying above negative 2x plus 8, y is greater than negative 2x plus 8, but less than x plus 3, above the line of a negative slope and below the line of positive slope. And there we have our choice right here. This is the system of equations which precisely describes that shaded area. And it's as simple as that. All you have to do all you have to know how to do is how to read uh, the linear equations, how to label the equations, and how to interpret them from there. Okay, at first glance, it looked like a hard question, and no, it, it ended up becoming very easy. It's very a great easy, question. very straightforward, yeah. All right, hopefully you caught that, and you'll see questions like that in our Matt Destroyer. All right, good day to you. I'll see you in a study group. Bye-bye.